Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about pass by value and pass by reference. In C -SAR, passing a value type parameter to a method by value means passing a copy of the variable to the method. So the changes made of the parameter inside of called method will not have an effect on the original data stored in the argument variable. Let's see with the practical. Open a new project file, new project that I'm going to work with a console application, that window, console application, that console app, that is a value and ref, value and ref, oh, click on OK. First we'll check with the pass by value. Now I'm going to create one class or we can work as a one method if we want if we, we can work as a method also I'm going to create one method that is a public static void and one method I'm going to write that is a calculation this one that I'm going to write like a receive number this will make it small okay so I'm going to change this value receive number receive number into receive number receive number equal to receive number into 500 okay that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to print this value so I'm going to write like a inside of the calculation method that it will be plus that receive number okay calculation so now I am going to pass some value from here so I am going to create one variable that uh, name will be pass number here that one is an receive number this one is that pass number so I'm going to assign some hundred okay so now first uh, the right line before passing the value so it will be that a pass number okay now going to call this calculation method so I'm going to pass that pass number okay the same one I'm going to use copy this one after passing the read key Okay. Here there is one number that is 100. I am passing that this number to that this calculation method. So let's see. But this value will not change because you are passing that value. Okay. Now run the application. See first before is 100 itself and after also it's 100. But inside that calculation, this is a 50,000. Okay. But this value is not changing. Once you actually you are passing here, means like you are copying the value. Because pass number have a 100 and that receive number is also getting that 100. But after that calculation, that particular value which you are passing, that particular value is not changing. Now we will run. Now we will learn that pass by reference. In C sharp, passing a value type parameter to a method by reference means passing a reference of the variable to the method. So the changes made to the parameter inside of called method will have an effect on the original data stored in the argument variable. 
By using ref keyword, we can pass a parameter reference type and it's mandatory to initialize the variable value before we pass it an argument to the method in C sharp programming language. Just what you need to do for the this one, we have checked that it's a pass by value because this one you are making that copy of that value and you are passing to that particular method. So only what you need to change, just you need to change here that you have to make this one is a reference. This one is a reference, but that for once you are going to use that reference, that particular value variable should be in a slice. That you can see here that that particular variable that a pass number is initialized with that hundred, and where you are actually you are passing and that there also you need to change that particular that ref keyword. So now you can see here this one is that reference type. That's all the definition change. So now if you will look here that before passing the value this one will be hundred. And the same value, what you actually the calculation method, that value will be the after passing the value. Just run the application, you can check. Now here you can see that before passing the value is 100. If you move here, that before passing it was a 100. Then after passing, you can see that is that updated value. Got it? This one is that updated value. Here you check that one, we used that in ref keyword. So means that ref keyword, once before you are passing, you have to initialize. So first I have initialized that 100, then we are passing that one particular value, that pass number value. And after calculation, you are getting the same value. Same thing is that for out, but there is a difference. For once you are going to use that out keyword, means you should not allow to initialize. Just like you no know, need to initialize that one. And this one is also not right because it's not in a slide, then you will not get the value. Just change this one that is out keyword. Okay, here also out keyword. One more thing is that need to hear in a slide, so you cannot write like this because that once you are going to pass, there is a you are not initializing any value, so it's it will not copy here. So means you are not passing any value, so it should remove from here. Now you can check here. I'm not passing value here. There is a not initializing. I didn't initialize any value. But after passing this value, also it will be update. Like a receive number, it's, it will be 500. And then pass number here, because I didn't initialize also, you will that will, value will be update also. Just run the application. Now you can see here, that is a 500, 500. If I'm going to change to the 1500, the same value, it will be update there also. That will be the 1500 so that's the difference between that uh, also ref and out ref need to initialize and but out no need to initialize i hope it's clear thanks for watching